know I surely would Go up on the mountain right where Moses stood Pharaoh's army got around it Oh, Mary, don't you weep Oh, Mary, don't weep, Martha, don't you mourn Oh, Mary, don't weep, Martha, don't mourn Pharaoh's army got around it Oh, Mary, don't you weep It's no challenge at all for me to play acoustically because I've been, I guess, about 50% of my career I've been playing solo acoustic. Probably how I've survived, to be honest. Um, so yeah, it's I, I, I take great pleasure in playing acoustic. I, I, I really enjoy it. Pharaoh's army got around it. Oh, oh, Mary, don't you be. We know Mary and the baby, they were lying in the shade. Think about the money, Papa, 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 Papa made. Pharaoh's army got around. I guess uh, playing playing solo, I, I think I've. I feel more connected with the audience when I play solo. I think there's more direct connection or more intense connection. That's that's the only way I would I would say there's a big difference. And then with a band, it's a bit more rock and roll, and you can jump around like an idiot and you know, play loud guitars. So that's that's fun too. So I enjoy both equally. I'm planning to quit touring after 2020, so my last shows will actually be in the Netherlands in December. I'm putting a special band together, but that's uh, a secret at the moment. Um, I've got a very busy year, and uh, yeah, I've got um, a few different lineups for, for bands over this year. A lot of solo work, uh, traveling all over Europe. Um, yeah, so we'll, uh, it's going to be an intense year this year, um, and then we'll see what happens. Pharaoh's army got around it, oh, Mary, don't you eat Pharaoh's army, Pharaoh's army got around it, oh, Mary, don't you eat it's not I want to quit music. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking maybe I might um, open my own venue. Uh, you know, like the old jazz and blues guys did when they got tired of touring. They opened their own place and they played every night in their own club. You know, so that's one uh, that's one plan I, I have. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. Um, but yeah, it, it, maybe it'll be temporary. Maybe it'll be for a year or two, and then I'll. Then I'll miss it so much, and I'll come back to it. But right now, um, you know, I've, I'm I'm just uh, ready for a change, I'm ready for something different. I've been doing this for 30 years, almost professionally. So it's it's a long time, and uh, yeah, I'm ready for, to, for some new challenges. Lyrics have always been very important to me, and all, and all my favorite, most of my favorite artists are great lyricists. So the story, you know, I, and I thought everyone was the same, but I've heard people, I've overheard people say, oh yeah, lyrics aren't that important to me, and which I find very strange, you know. Because I, I think it's the most important thing. But you know, I'm a fan of Bob Dylan and Tom Waits and Chris Christopherson, Towns Van Zandt, Elvis Costello, Shane McGowan, uh, Tony Joe White. You know, it, it's, it's all stories, and, and and the lyrical content is 
the main thing. I mean, if you think about Dylan, is always the best example. I think um, his music's very simple. You know, it's, it's normally three chords. There's nothing complex about it musically, but it's it's all about the lyrics. And uh, sometimes he's pretty cryptic and strange and poetic. But uh, yeah, so for me, I get I guess more of a storyteller. Yeah. I think that's more important to me. I'm not a great musical technician or or a fast guitar player. Uh, so yeah, it's more about the words for me. With my brothers way down on the other side tonight. Captain, cross me over. Captain, let me ride. I must lie. With my brothers on the other side Thank you. Dead Sea Captain. Uh, this is Ian Siegel and I'm wishing everyone a happy and prosperous and healthy 2020. You're listening to the bluesradio.com and uh, I hope to see you at one of my shows. I got scars.